This packet contains enough food energy to keep a soldier fueled for the fight. The MRE, or Meal Ready to Eat, is a nutritious food ration distributed to service men and women in the field that can be heated on site in mere minutes. 100 years ago, dinner in the trenches of World War I wasn't as appetizing. Due to short supplies of staples and poor preservation, British troops subsisted on thin soups flavored with mystery meat, canned corned beef, and bread substitute made from dried turnips. Tins of sugary tea masked the flavor of water transported in gas tanks. Today, combat meals have been replaced by the MRE. The MRE breaks down into the flameless ration heater, the pouch of water, and the meal bag. The meals ready to eat must be prepared in a sterile environment to prevent bacterial contamination. One recipe is made at a time in an industrial kettle. First, the pre-cooked ingredients are brought to the kettle. Today on the menu, chicken with barbecue sauce, black beans, and potatoes. The preheated barbecue sauce, fortified with extra vitamins and minerals, is pumped into the kettle. Then the ingredients are poured into the sauce and mixed. Frozen chicken, dehydrated potatoes, and black beans. The MRE is health food and haute cuisine compared to the C rations of World War II. The C stands for combat, but it might as well have stood for canned. Canned meat, canned bread, and canned dessert. Affectionately known as C rats, they were only intended to feed a GI for a few days before being supplemented with real food. But toward the end of the war, C rations were all they got. By the late 1950s, the Army accumulated such a large stockpile, they were able to feed soldiers these temporary meals right through the Vietnam War. The meal bags are made from a combination of strong, flexible plastic and metal foil, making them highly durable and puncture resistant. The barbecue chicken meal is now pumped through a reservoir at the filling machine. The meal bags travel along a conveyor system where they're stamped with the ingredients, the plant number, and the date of production. Then, each bag is blown open with air jets, and the 228-gram meal is pumped into each bag. Each kettle can produce 1,400 meal bags every 20 minutes. Before being sealed, the bag is blasted with air to make sure no food is blocking the mouth of the bag. Then, the bag is heat sealed. An eight-hour shift can produce up to 100,000 meal bags. By the time the World War II sea rations had arrived in Vietnam in the late 1960s, they were over 20 years old. And because the paper label often slipped off, every meal was a surprise. Today, MRE menus include Asian and Caribbean dishes, and there's even a vegetarian option. When the packages arrive at quality control, they are x-rayed for impurities, and every batch is sterilized and monitored. Samples are put into testing bags and sent through a sterilization chamber along with the rest of the batch. The monitors track the exact temperature, ensuring that the contents of the meal will be safe when reheated in the field. If a soldier gets sick to his stomach on the battlefield, he's at risk to himself and a liability to his squad. So food in the combat zone needs to be plentiful and safe. Every MRE contains two entrees and two sides, like high-energy bars and drink crystals, for a total of 1,300 calories. 
The packages also contain a pouch of water and two plastic bags called the flameless ration heaters. The bottom of the bag is a package containing magnesium mixed with metallic iron particles and table salt. Adding water causes a chemical reaction that heats it until it boils. The meal bag is inserted and left to heat, and the meal is ready to eat in 10 minutes. The final step is to seal the bags with cutlery and napkins. Then they can be packed and ready to ship to the field. War is no picnic, but if an army really does travel on its stomach, the MRE is the fuel that gets them to the front lines. Coming up on Battle Factory, 